Hi guys, Crystal Thompson here for Pink and May. I have the pleasure of playing today with the You Can Fly set part of the July 2018 release, creating a clean, simple card with the set. We'll be using the You Can Fly stamp set and the You Can Fly coordinating dies, along with my Distress Oxides in Lucky Clover, Twisted Citron, Wilted Violet, and pickled raspberry. Onto a separate piece of cardstock, I am blending these colors in a circle pattern. And the reason for this is I'm going to place the You Can Fly butterfly die, and I'm gonna cut it out from this Distress Oxide combination of colors. Once I have enough of the colors onto my cardstock, I'm gonna die cut it. I really love how this die cut, it was really nice and clean and thick. I'm gonna add some water to that Distress Oxide and then I'm going to use my heat tool to set those splatters. Next, I'm going to stamp the detailed of that butterfly onto the Distress Oxide butterfly. I'm gonna be using some clear embossing ink and then with black embossing powder, I'm gonna put this over the details that I had stamped earlier. I know you're probably wondering why I didn't do the black first and then do the distress. I just really love how glossy that can be and I believe that some of that distress oxide can kind of take that gloss away from the embossing powder. So we're gonna go ahead and heat set, try not to burn our fingers. Switching that butterfly around and getting it all. Now that it's done, on our actual card panel, we're gonna go ahead and stamp the sentiment, spread your wings with that same black embossing powder. We're gonna heat set with our heating tool and set that stuff aside. It's time to assemble our actual card. I have die cut a butterfly from some vellum and I'm gonna place this on the center of the card. Next, I'm gonna use some foam adhesive. I'm gonna cut two thin strips and these are gonna be placed in the center of my butterfly. I'm gonna bend the wings so they are bent up and forward. I'm just measuring where this is gonna go but I am not gonna place it just yet. Using a really pretty and thick glitter, I'm gonna add some liquid adhesive onto the vellum butterfly, add the glitter, and then leaving that center part without some of the glitter, place the foam adhesive and bend up those wings. And that is it for this really clean and simple yet sparkly butterfly. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. Please give this thumbs up and go check out Pink and Main's July 28 release. It is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me. Have an awesome day.